Hi Libra, happy full moon in Gemini. The grid behind me is for a Libra rising, but my readings can always be watched by a Libra sun as well as a Libra moon. And I want us to remember the days that we were kiddos when we went to the beach and we would construct these really beautiful sand castles. And for a few moments in time, they were everything that we wanted them to be. And we could picture the kings and the queens coming and going and the knights going around the castle. And it was perfect in every way. And you know, when we had those containers that you put the sand in and then when you flipped it up in the tallest tower, you know, you spent so much time putting that little tower together to be perfect. And you showed your parents and the whole group and everyone was in awe. Everyone was in awe of what you built. And then the tide came in and you could build certain barriers around your sandcastle. I know my sisters and I would spend so much time trying to prevent the tide from coming in. And, but the way of the world is the way and we're not in control as human beings. There are much higher powers that are running the ebbs and flows of this planet and the laws that we must abide by, the universal laws and the karmic laws. So let it crumble, let it break down. If for any Libra placements, please reach out directly and we can have a one-on-one -on -one session. You are not alone. You are not alone, truly. Like if money is the issue, I can offer my friends and family discount for you. For right now, it's I'm really aware that this south node in Libra transit is very confusing. This full moon is in Gemini, very confusing. Air energy, a lot of mutability. We're in Sagittarius season. Please go watch my Sagittarius introductory video. Please go watch my introductory video for this full moon. There's so much happening and we have Venus conjunct the south node in your sign. It's as effortless as breathing to make the wrong choice, as effortless as breathing to make the addictive choice, to make the inappropriate choice, to uh, choose violence, to you know, lash out irrationally. And I just want you to be aware that I see you and I honor you and I'm offering you validation right now that it must feel so uncomfortable. Yes, you're an air sign, but you're a cardinal air sign. So you're on a cardinal axis over here. Cardinal, 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 cardinal. And right now we're in mutable air, mutable fire. There's a lot of change that's going on. So just like that sandcastle, what is that? Don't cry because it's over, smile because, it's ha because it happened. And the phrase that I said to myself when I was singing down the back shore and I was just crying with the seagulls and just feeling all the feelings, I, what did I say to myself? It was, don't cry because it's not here yet. Smile because you claim it. Smile because you can see it. There is a light at the end of the wild tunnel of a dumpster fire that it might feel like you're in right now. So I just wanted to offer that for you and I can offer my friends and family discount for any readings, any sessions for Libra placements, for Libra sun, moon and rising. This is very confusing energies. I just wanna give that validation for you, my dears. So I'll give a little bit of the placements and then I'll leave you with that because I don't wanna overwhelm any of you. And I'm not saying this to diminish you. I am in no way being like, you're so cute what you're in. You're so cute. No, I'm a Scorpio rising and I just went through that placement where the south node finished its transit of my ascendant sign, of my first house. And it was embarrassing and guttural and visceral. And I felt like I was constantly walking around with kale in my teeth and that every mistake that I made was on the front and center stage. So I, I'm only saying what you're going through is intense AF because I went through it. but. As a Scorpio rising, I'm run, that's that's Mars and Pluto energy. You're run by Libra, I, pardon me, you're run by Venus. <laughs> it's a very different energetic vibration. Very, very different. So I am not saying that you cannot handle it, you're a cardinal sign, you're cardinal air, where you have to tell somebody what's what, you gotta do it. And I believe in you, but right now, it's very shaky. And I don't want you to choose in any way addictive substances or violence or you know inappropriate sexual activities. Just feel all of your feelings. Because when you come out of this time, 
by next year, you will feel so transformed. And we can't understand it because we're in it. We're in it. We're too close to it to understand what's going on. Like, I can't read what it says because I'm in it. That does not mean that I'm illiterate. Just saying. So the sun is in your house of communication, um, early learning, short trips, language, Mars, and um, Mercury is also in this house. And we have the full moon happening in your house of quest, adventure, and long distance travel and higher education. Um, the feeling that I have right now that I feel like you might be feeling is when I was younger, I had this recurring dream that I was the only person on the planet that could not fly. And I would just be like walking home from school and all the kiddos with their backpacks were like, hey, sir, you want to ride? And I'd be like, I'm, thank you, but no, I'm okay. I'm just going to walk. It's okay. You might just feel that everybody around you is receiving their things. Everybody around you has all of the 10 out of 10 stuff. Everybody's feeling great. Everybody's doing awesome. And you just are like, everything that you built is crumbling. Everything that you thought, the person that you're dating, everything, the person that you really just moved in with, all the things is just like... And all you want to do is walk around like this. You're strong enough to handle this. You got this. There's nothing that is easy about what we're experiencing right now, Libra. But I believe in you. And I'm offering you understanding, validation, community. You're not alone. You are in no way alone. Yeah, that's interesting. Like this entire area of your chart is empty, as you can see. See, there's like something happening all over the place, but community and legacy and being seen is empty. So you might just feel alone in the darkness right now. You're not. You're not. But if I know you, honey, you would want to protect your transition, protect your, uh, not transition, that's a wrong word to use in every capacity, please. Like protect your inner growth and change. It's kind of like think of your, you know, favorite musical artist that, you know, has one album and then you don't see them for a very long time and they come back with a new look, a new vibe, a new album, a new everything, but they transform in private. Deep transformation is happening. Protect your transformation. Yeah. Don't pop off. Don't. Don't, this is specific for Libra risings, um, but Libra sun as well as the Libra moon maybe. Don't travel just to placate yourself. You cannot run from yourself. You cannot run from your problems. Don't, don't travel. You know, quest, adventure, long distance travel, higher education. That's where the full moon is. Don't run where an old friend of mine, she would say, you know, wherever you go is where you are. Be where your feet are. Because if you don't like what's happening in your reality, you created your reality. You can't just like run and wish it away. You have to deal with the feelings. Because the vibration, these planets are affecting you. Wherever you go, they're affecting you. It's just a different time of day that you'll receive this full moon. So wherever you are on the planet is where you are. Wherever you go, your problems will be with you. So look at them and love them and change them into something else. But try not to attach your ego to this because it's astrological. It's outside of you. It's happening for a reason. It's happening to develop you, to grow you. Love ya.